Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a cable stitch tank top. Being a huge fan of cables and crochet tank tops, I was surprised that we haven't tackled a cable tank on the channel before, so I thought I'd remedy that and let this beauty at the vault. Speaking of, we've got a few more vault treats coming out, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't, but either way, it's a great way to show support so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now it's time to get on the show, so without further ado... For this project, any category for yarn will work, but I use a total of 270 grams of yarn. That's 350 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5 and 5.5 five and millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite rom-com. I'm not quite sure if this counts, but the Princess Diaries 2, The Royal Engagement, always did it for me. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using 6 stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Flip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. Treble crochet. and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size, and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first gonna grab our category four yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're gonna grab our five and a half millimeter hook, and we're all gonna start by making a chain of five, and this is going to be the same no matter what size we're making. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Now that we have our five chains, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain of two. Now this chain counts as our first stitch and we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into every chain. So start with a yarn over and then into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, we're gonna insert our hook into there with one half double crochet. There's our first official half double crochet. Let's do the next. Yarn over into that next chain, pull through, pull through all three. And we're going to continue to put one half double crochet into every chain. All right, so we have just finished up our row number one, and now we're going to get started on a row number two, which is actually another half double crochet row. But just to count this out with you guys, we should have a total of one, two, three, four, five. And then counting our chain two, that is six stitches. What we're gonna do from here is do a chain two to start off our row number two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. So not counting that first chain two, because from here on out, that's just gonna count as our turning chain. We're gonna have one, two, three, four. Five, and then into the top of that chain two, we're going to insert with our six stitch. So there's six. And once we have that, we're gonna get started on our row number three or our first cable stitch row. So start with the chain two. So now that we're here, we're going to work our first stitch, which is a front post double treble crochet combined with a half double crochet into our row number one. So starting off by counting our chain two, because remember that counts as a stitch, there's one, there's two. We're gonna be skipping those first two stitches and then inserting our hook underneath that third half double crochet. So let's all start with a yarn over of three. There's one, there's two, there's three. And we're gonna insert our hook underneath that third stitch that we have from our first row, yarn over, and pull through. 
We're now going to yarn over and pull through two until we have two left on our hook, and then we are going to combine it with a half double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now that we have two loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook into that first stitch from our previous row. So we're going to insert into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through. And we have four loops on our hook now. So yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. Now our first stitch is all finished up and the rest is going to be worked in sets of two. So to finish off this set of two, we're going to do another front post double treble crochet right into that next stitch. So yarn over three times into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now working into those two stitches that we skipped, so that chain two from a row one on and our half double crochet, we're going to do another set of two front post double treble crochets. So yarn over one, two, three times. Bring our hook back into that first stitch, which is our chain two. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through two. We have one more stitch on this side, so yarn over three times again. Bring our hook back into that last stitch. Pull through, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two and pull through two. Now, from here, we need to close off our row with a set of two front post treble crochets. So, into that next stitch, yarn over twice, and then into that second to last stitch from our row number one, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then we're going to close this off by doing a front post treble crochet but combined with a half double crochet. And we're starting and ending all of our cable stitch rows with a stitch that is combined with a half double crochet so that it's not flip flop in a row. So how we're going to do that is yarn over twice and into the last stitch from our row number one, go ahead and insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Should have two loops left on our hook, just like how we started off this row with. And we're going to yarn over into that last stitch from our previous row, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four of those loops. And now our row number three is all finished up. And once we have this, we're going to be doing a half double crochet row just so we can get started on the next cable stitch row. So do a chain two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet to every stitch. All right, we've just put one half double crochet into every stitch, and now we're gonna get started on our next cable stitch row or our row number five. So start with a chain two and flip your work. Once we flip our work, we're going to get started with a front post treble crochet combined with a half double crochet. So this one is going to start with the same stitch that we ended off with, so let's get that started. Yarn over twice, because it's a front post treble crochet, Insert your hook into that first stitch from our previous cable stitch row. So we are skipping over our half double crochet row that we just did. We're going to insert, yarn over, pull through. We're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we have two loops left. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch from our previous row, pull through, yarn over. Pull through all four of those loops. And that is our first stitch. And we need to do our next stitch, which is another front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice into that next stitch. Pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now the next two stitches is going to be a little crossover action. So what we're going to do is a set of two front post double treble crochets into the second to last and into the last stitch from our previous cable stitch row. Start with a yarn over of three, skipping over the next set of two stitches and then inserting into that second to last stitch. Insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do one more into that last stitch that we have. 
So yarn over three times into that last stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And now we're going to do another set of two front post double treble crochets into that window that we just made, filling out these two stitches that we just skipped over. So to get started with that, we're going to yarn over one, two, three times again. We are going to hang on to our yarn because it can very easily fall off. And we're going to pull our work down towards ourselves, finding these two stitches in this window right here. So we're going to pull this down. We're going to find those two stitches. And here are mine. There's one and there's two. Insert your hook into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through two. And this is what our work should look like so far. You guys can see a little crisscross. And we have one more left to do. And this last one is going to be combined with a half double crochet again. So start with a yarn over of one, two, three. We're going to hang on to our yarn and pull our work down to find that last stitch that we skipped over. Insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and we're going to yarn over and pull through two until we have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And now that we have these two left, we're going to yarn over. And insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row. So insert, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And if we tug on our work, it should be looking like this. And we're going to half double crochet our way back down. So chain two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. All right, so we have just half double crocheted all the way down, and together we should all have a total of six rows. From here, we're going to be repeating rows three through six until we get the length that we want, making sure that we're placing this first row in the middle of our chest. So I'm just going to get the next row started off with you guys, just to remind you guys how it's going to start and where we're going to be inserting our hook. And for the rest of the rows, all the timestamps will be in the description. So getting started on our row number seven, it's going to start with a repeat of our row number three. So start with a chain two and flip our work. To get started with our row number seven, we're going to do a front post double treble crochet combined with a half double. So yarn over three times, insert your hook into that third stitch from our previous cable stitch row. So we're gonna be skipping over one, two, into that third, Insert your hook, pull through. Yarn over and pull through two until we have just two stitches left. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now that we have two loops left on our hook, yarn over. Insert your hook into that first stitch from our previous row with a half double crochet. And now this stitch is all finished up. Let's do the next one, which is going to be another front post double treble crochet into that next stitch. Yarn over three times, insert your hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And now that we have that, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped from our previous cable stitch row, and then close this row off with a front post treble crochet. And another front post treble crochet combined with a half double crochet to end off this row. Do a chain two, half double crochet back, and then do a repeat of our row number five. Continue to do this until we have the exact length that we need. And I'll meet you guys back right after cable stitch row. Alright, so I'm back with my cable stitch section. I have a total of 31 rows, and this is just about 12 and a half inches or 31 centimeters. And now from here, we're gonna start working on our side panel. And we are first gonna switch out our hook to our five millimeter hook. I'm going to start by alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So start with a chain one and flip your work. 
Now finding our first side row is going to be easy. We're just going to kind of pull this apart and we're going to start by inserting one single crochet. So insert with just one single crochet. Now this is my next side row. This may be a little bit more difficult to see. And we're going to insert into there with two single crochets. So there's one and into that same gap, there's my second single crochet. Let's do the next one. This is my next side half double crochet. So let's insert into there with just one. And this is my next one. So I'm going to insert into there with two. So there's one and there's two. We're going to continue on with this pattern, making our way all the way down until we reach this corner stitch. All right, so we've just made our way all the way down with our single crochet row. And now we're going to do a half double crochet row, making our way all the way down, leaving the last two stitches so that we can do a decrease together. So start with a chain two and flip our work. From here, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch until we have two stitches left. All right, so we have made our way all the way down with our half double crochets and we have one, two stitches left. Now to do our decrease of two half double crochets, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last stitch, pull through into that last stitch, pull through, we should have four loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And to get started on our next row, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and now we're going to do a bunch of front and back post double crochets. And we're going to start this row with a decrease of two half double crochets again. So yarn over into that first stitch, pull through into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And let's do our first front post double crochet. So skipping the decrease and the first half double crochet from our previous row, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook underneath that next half double crochet. Pull through. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and there's our first front post. Let's now do our back post. So yarn over once. We're going to bring our hook underneath the work and bring our hook over that next half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now all together we should have a decrease of two half double crochets one front post double crochet and one back post double crochet. Let's do just one more set together. Yarn over. Underneath that next half double crochet, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one back post double crochet. So yarn over, bring your hook underneath that next half double and over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Continue to make our way all the way down with the front post and back post double crochet, all the way down to the bottom, and I will meet you guys back. I've just made my way all the way down with my front and back post double crochets, and now just to close off this row, we're going to do a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. Now it doesn't matter if we ended on a front post like me or a back post, all we're gonna do from here is yarn over and find the last stitch from our previous row, and half double crochet. From here, we're gonna do a chain up a one and cut and then repeat the same thing that we just did here on the other side. So I'll meet you guys back to show you we're gonna insert our hook. All right, so I've just done a chain up a one and cut along the side and now we're going to repeat this detail on the other side. So we're gonna start by inserting our five millimeter hook into the top corner stitch of our cable stitch section that is opposite from the tail end that we have for our cable stitch section. And from here, we're gonna repeat. So single crochet, make our way all the way down, half double crochet with the decrease at the end, start with a decrease of two half double crochets and then front and back close double crochets all the way down and end with a half double. I'll meet you guys back until we have this finished up. All right, so I am back and both of my ribbing sides are all finished up along my cable stitch section and now we're going to start working on one of our side panels. We are all gonna make sure that our work is slipped right side up and right side out so the cable is faced up towards us and the decrease portion is faced away from us. And we're all gonna get started on the right side because the ribbing that we're going to do is not reversible. 
So start by inserting your hook into your right side's bottom corner stitch. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and do a chain up of two. And that chain two does count as a stitch, and what we're going to do from here is put one half double crochet into every stitch. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch. We're going to yarn over. Pull through, we have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all three loops. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And keep doing this, making our way all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. I have just half double crocheted my way all the way up, and now we're going to do a slip stitch row so we can get some really nice ribbing. So what we're going to do from here is chain one and flip our work. Our slip stitches are all going to be made into the back loops, so let's do that together. Into that first stitch that we have, we're going to insert our hook into that back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Yarn over and pull through everything. Let's do the next one. Into that next stitch, insert into that back loop again. Yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to do this until we make our way all the way down. All right, so we have just finished our half double crochet and our back loop slip stitch row. And now we're going to go back to doing our half double crochets, but it's all going to be into the back loops now. And here, we're going to end with an increase. So what we're going to do from here is chain two, flip our work, and start with one back loop half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do that again. Yarn over, into that next back loop, pull through, pull through three, yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through three. I'm going to continue to do this until I have just one stitch left. And now that I put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we should all have one left. We're going to do our increase of two back loop half double crochets into there together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop with one half double crochet. Then into that same back loop with our second half double crochet. And now that we have this, we're going to work our way down with our back loop slip stitch row. And that's not going to have any increases or decreases. So start with a chain one and flip our work. Start by inserting your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through everything. Next back loop, pull through everything. And from here, we're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of the row, do a chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, while making sure we do an increase of two into that last stitch. And keep repeating these two rows until this reaches about mid breast on one side, and then I'll meet you guys back along the bottom. All right, so I'm back, and I've just finished up my side panel, and I have about two inches or five centimeters, counting from our first half double crochet row. And this is just eight rows. From here, we're going to work on our underarm, and what we're going to do is start by inserting our stitch marker into the stitch that's nearest to our underarm. So I've inserted my stitch marker into the 12th stitch from the top, and this is about two and a half inches or five centimeters. And from here, we're gonna put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we are two stitches right before our stitch marker. All right, I am two stitches right before my stitch marker, and we're now gonna do a decrease of two half double crochets into the back loops. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through all four of those loops. That's how we're going to do our decrease. And we're going to go back to doing our back loop slip stitch row with no increases or no decreases. So chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of this row, do a chain two, flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two just so we can decrease together one more time. All right, my slip stitch row is all done and my half double crochet row is almost done. We have left our last two stitches, so let's just decrease together. Yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, pull through, and into that last back loop. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all four. And from here, we're going to keep repeating our two previous rows until this can stretch to mid underarm. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the other side. Alright, so I am back with my side panel. I have a total of 15 rows. 
and our width is just about three and a half inches or nine centimeters unstretched. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side, but our hook is going to be inserted into the opposite side because this isn't reversible. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into this top stitch that we have up here, right next to our decrease. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, and we're going to start by doing a chain two. Now this doesn't count as a stitch, we just want the height. And since we're along this end, we're going to do our half double crochets all the way down. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch the chain two is coming out of, with one. Into that next stitch, with two, and then continue to do this, making our way all the way down. At the end of this row, do a chain one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And I'll meet you guys back when we're about to get started on our third row. All right, so we've made our way all the way up with our slip stitches, and now we're going to do our increases just like how we did them over here. So just to do the first one with you guys, we're just going to start with a chain two. That doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain, and into that first stitch we're going to do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. So yarn over, insert into that first back loop with one, and then also with two half double crochets. From here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way down, slip stitch all the way up with no increases and no decreases. And from there, we're going to keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as this portion over here. And we are going to end along the top, so go ahead and do a chain of one cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so I'm back with my side panel. I have the same amount of rows on both sides, and since we all should have ended along the top, I did do a chain of one and cut. And now we're going to do our underarm portion. So the first thing we're going to have to do is insert our stitch marker into the same stitch that we inserted a stitch marker into on this side. So if you guys have my numbers, I've inserted my stitch marker into the 12th stitch on this side, so I did the same over here. And now we're going to work on our back loop half double crochet row where we do decreases. And we're going to start by inserting our hook into the stitch that's right next to our stitch marker, working down towards the bottom. So start by inserting your hook into that next stitch's back loop. Insert your yarn onto your hook pull through. From here we're going to do a chain two, but that doesn't count as a stitch, we only want the height. And from here we're going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets, starting by inserting your hook into the same stitch the chain two is coming out. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all four. And that's it. We're going to continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, do a chain one, one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and then to start our next back loop half double crochet row, start with a decrease. And we're going to keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows as we have over here. Do a chain up a one and cut when we have that all done, then I'll meet you guys back. Alright, so we are back and I have just finished up my other side panel and now I can get started with the back panel. So the first thing we're going to do is start by making a chain, the same amount of stitches that we have for this last side panel row that we have right here. So if you guys have my numbers, I ended up having a total of 47 stitches. So to start my back, I'm going to make a chain of 47. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and start with a chain of one. That doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. And now we're going to slip stitch into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. So start by inserting your hook into that second chain. Should have two loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through everything. Into that next chain, insert, yarn over, pull through everything. Then into that next chain, insert, pull through everything. Continue to put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, we're now going to do a back loop half double crochet row. So chain two, flip our work, yarn over, and into that first back loop, pull through, pull through, through, and that's it. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. All right, we put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and now just like for our front panel, we're going to go back to working into our back loop slip stitches, and we're going to keep alternating between those two rows. So right after this, we're going to chain one. Flip our work, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through everything. And we're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And our next row is going to be a back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. 
And we're going to keep repeating this until this can stretch across our back. And I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row so that we can do our underarm together. I've made my way across my back, my back loop half double and back loop slip stitch rows. And I have a total of 23 rows and my width is just about five and a half inches or 14 centimeters unstretched. Now from here, what we're going to do is the same underarm that we did for the front panel, the first underarm that we did. So we're going to start by inserting our stitch marker into the same amount of stitches that we inserted our stitch marker into for the front panel, minus into my 12th stitch. And what I'm going to do from here is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and decrease into the two stitches right before our stitch marker and then a slip stitch row. Keep repeating those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our front panel. Then I'll meet you guys back just to talk you guys through doing the other underarm portion. Our one underarm portion is all finished up and now we're going to do the same thing as the front panel on the other side for the other underarm side that we did. So what we're going to do is insert our stitch marker into that same amount of stitches that we insert a stitch marker into. So just again, if you guys have my numbers, I inserted mine into the 12th stitch. And from here, we're going to start by inserting our hook into that next stitch, making sure we're working into that back loop, working down towards the bottom. And then we're going to repeat our other underarm portion. So do a chain two, that doesn't count as a stitch. And then decrease with two back loop half double crochets then back loop half double crochet all the way down and then a slip stitch row. We're gonna keep repeating that row until we have the same amount of underarm rows as the front and then I will meet you guys back. Okay, so the entirety of my back panel is all finished up and I have a total of about nine and a half inches or 25 centimeters and now we're going to seam our sides. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is make sure that our work is slipped right side out, meaning that the ribbing that we have for the back is faced up and the ribbing and the cable stitch section that we have is faced out. And now we're going to do an outside loop slip stitch seam. Now we're going to start by inserting our hook into corner stitches of both the front and the back panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through everything, and do a chain up of one to secure. And now to do our outside loop slip stitch seam, we're going to start by inserting our hook into that first available stitches front loop into the front panel. So this first stitch that we have right here, I'm going to insert only in through that front loop. And then into the back panel, we're going to insert our hook into that back panel's back loop. So into that first stitch, we're going to insert into that back loop. We should now have three loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. Let's do that again. Into the next stitch, into the front panel, insert only in through the front loop. And then into the next stitch, into the back panel, insert only into that back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. Now we're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way down to a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, so I am back, and my front and back panel are all seamed up, and now we're going to get started on our collar. So the first thing we're going to want to do is try on our piece. And we're going to take a measurement from this top corner within the front panel, that goes up and over our shoulder that reaches the top corner into the back panel. Now I have already measured mine now and mine's gonna be about four inches or 10 centimeters. And that's going to be a chain of 15, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're first gonna to need to single crochet from this first single crochet row that we did along the side of our cable, making our way down our ribbed portion, and then going all the way up to this point. So let's get that started. We're gonna start by finding that side single crochet row that we did along the outside of our cable. I'm going to insert our hook into there, insert your yarn onto your hook, and pull through. Now we're going to start working into the two side half double crochets that we have right here. Remember one was a regular half double crochet row, and one was a front and back post double crochet row. We're going to start by putting two single crochets into each of those. So we're going to find that first side half double crochet, which is this right here. And I'm going to insert with one single crochet and then into that same side half double, I'm going to insert with another single crochet. So there's one and here it is two. I have one more left to do, which is my front and back post double crochet row. So I'm going to find that side loop, insert my hook into there with one and then also with two single crochets. Now from here, if you guys can keep an eye on this, go for it, but if it might be a little bit easier for you, 
insert your stitch marker into that fourth stitch. And then now from here, we're going to put two single crochets into every side half double and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, making our way all the way up to this point over here. So let's get that started. This is my next side row, which is a side half double crochet row. I'm going to insert my hook onto that top loop with one and then two single crochets. And this is my next side row, which is a side slip stitch row. I'm going to find that top loop, insert my hook, single crochet, and then that's my first set. Let's do one more. This is my next side half double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook into there with two single crochets. So there's one. And into that same loop, there's two. And then this is my side slip stitch. So insert your hook into that top loop with just one. Continue to do this, making my way all the way up to the point. Okay, so now that I've single crocheted my way all the way up into this point, I'm now going to make my chain. And remember, I said that I was going to make a chain of 15, so I'm going to do that. But go ahead and make whatever chain amount you guys need. And now that we have our chain, we're going to slip stitch it into the corner stitch into the back panel. And then working along the back, all we're going to do is put two single crochets into every side half double while skipping over our side slip stitch rows. So to get that started, my next side row is a side half double. So I'm going to insert into there with one, two single crochets. I'm going to skip the next side slip stitch row and then into the next side half double. There's one. And there's two single crochets again. Keep doing this, making our way all the way down to this corner. Make the same chain that we made on this side. And then I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys how we're going to connect it into this corner stitch. All right, so I've just single crocheted my way all the way across my back. Made the same chain that I made on this side. And now we're going to insert our hook into this top corner with our first single crochet. And then we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. So two single crochet into every side half double, one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, and I'll meet you guys back right when we're at our last half double crochet row, right before we start working into the ribbing. All right, so now that we have made our way all the way down to our ribbing, we're going to go back to doing two single crochets into every side half double crochet row, and then we're just going to slip stitch into that single crochet row along the side of our cable. So into this first side half double crochet that we have right here. I'm going to insert with my first single crochet. And what I'm going to do into this first single crochet into this portion is insert my stitch marker so that it can match the other side. And then I'm going to continue to put my second single crochet into that same side half double crochet. And I have one more. So I'm going to insert with one, with two, and then into that last stitch, or it may just be a loop. You may need to find it. I'm just going to slip stitch into there, do a chain up of one and cut. All right, so we are now ready to make our way around with our collar. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our hook into the stitch that's nearest to our stitch marker, but making sure it's along the top. So what I'm going to do is insert just into this next stitch right here. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through. Now, since this portion leans in a little bit, I'm just going to start with an increase of two half double crochets. So I'm going to start by yarning over. I'm going to skip that next stitch, which our stitch marker should be in there. And then insert your hook into that next stitch. So yarn over into this next stitch right here. I'm going to insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And I'm going to be doing one more into this same stitch. So yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through all three. And then all we're going to do from here is put one half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. And I'll meet you guys back once when we are just one stitch right before our stitch marker on the other side, because we're going to need to end with an increase of two as well. All right, so we've made our way all the way around with our half double crochets. We have left one stitch right before our stitch marker, and now we're going to do an increase. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch with one half double crochet, and then into that same stitch, one more half double crochet, so that is our increase. 
From here, we're going to need to slip stitch it into the base, which is these four stitches that we left off, just like how we did over here. So we're going to start by slip stitching it into the second stitch into the base. We're going to skip that first stitch, which should have our stitch marker in it. Then into that next one, I'm going to insert my hook with a slip stitch. And now this half double crochet row is all connected. Now we need to work our way up to our next row. So we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. There's one. There's two. We're going to flip our work. And now we're going to make our way around doing front and back post double crochets again. So let's do that together. Start with the yarn over and then into the first half double crochet that we have from our previous row. We're going to insert with a front post double crochet. So insert your hook into there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. And then next is our back post double crochet. So yarn over, bring our hook behind our work, and then over that next half double crochet that we have. So underneath, and then bring it over the next half double crochet body, pull through, and then pull through two, and pull through two. Let's do just one more set. Underneath my next half double crochet body, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook underneath, and bring it through the other side with one double crochet. And then one more into the back. So yarn over, bring your hook underneath, and over that next half double crochet, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. Now we're going to keep alternating between a front post and back post double crochet, making our way all the way around. Then I'll meet you guys back to show you how we're going to slip stitch it into the base. Alright, so I've made my way all the way around with my front and back post double crochets. And now we're back just to slip stitch it into the stitch together to close off this row. So since I'm working this direction, I'm going to flip my work over. And I'm going to count up one, two stitches. Slip stitch it into that second stitch. And then I'm going to do a chain up one and cut. Now, after we've just done our chain up of one and cut, we do need to single crochet around our collar one more time, just so this can be really clean, working from our rib portion to our collar, right over our cable stitch section. So just to make this as clean as possible, we're going to insert our hook into any one of our stitches along the back, and then we're going to single crochet all the way around, just putting one into every stitch. So, all I'm going to do is insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure and just single all the way around. Slip stitch into this chain one space, do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we are all done with our collar, and now we're going to get started on our sleeve, and we're just going to single crochet our way all the way around. So start by inserting your hook into that next available stitch that we have into the base along the bottom of our collar. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook and pull through. And all we're going to do is put one single crochet into every stitch that we have, and then two single crochet into every side half double crochet row, skipping over our side slip stitch row. So the same way that we did the back panel. We're going to keep doing that, making our way all the way up. And then we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch we have into the base and do a chain up and one and cut. Once we have that, we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We've just finished up single crocheting along our armholes, and now we're going to get started on our bottom band. So start by inserting your hook into any one of our side rows along the bottom. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And all we're going to do from here is put two single crochets into every side half double, skip over our side slip stitch row, and keep doing that, making our way all the way down. And we are going to have some stitches along the bottom of our cable stitch, so we're just going to be putting one single crochet into each of those, but maintain our two single crochets into every side half double, making our way all the way around. I'll meet you guys back once we have slip stitched into this chain one space. Alright, so we have just single crocheted along the entirety of our bottom, and now we're going to make a chain the length that we want the bottom band to be. I want mine to be about 2 inches or 5 centimeters. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 8. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain. Do a chain of 3, that doesn't count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. 
and we're going to yarn over preparing for a double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the fourth chain from our hook with our first double crochet. So go ahead and insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do this again. Yarn over, insert into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Continue to put one double crochet into every chain. Now that we've put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch it into that second stitch into the base. So we're all going to start by counting up one, two stitches into that second stitch. I'm going to insert my hook with a slip stitch to close off this first double crochet row. And then to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches. So there's one, and then there's two. And then we're going to flip our work. And now we're going to do back loop double crochets. So start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do another one. Yarn over, into that next back loop, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And we're going to keep putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch. And at the end of the row, do a chain three, flip our work. And then make our way back down, putting one back loop double crochet into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our pieces together. Alright, so we made our way all the way around with our back loop double crochet rows. We don't have any more stitches, and now we're just going to seam it together. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out so that once when we wear it, all of our seams are along the inside. And we're going to start by inserting our hook into the first stitch into the front panel, and then also into the first stitch into the back panel, and we're going to single crochet. Let's do the next one into the first stitch into the front panel, and into the first stitch into the back panel, and then we're going to single crochet. And that is it. We're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way down when we don't have any more stitches left. So, a chain of one and cut. Right, so we have just finished up seaming our bottom band and we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it y'all. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!